What's your name, ma'am? Ashley Whittington. Okay, how you end up out here on the streets? I ended up out here in the streets because um, right over there, there's a hotel called Express Inn. Yeah. Right beside the Dollar Tree. I had, um, at the time, my girls were five and a half um, year old, identical twin girls. And um, I ended up living there for over two years. And I was working for a man. Actually, I found the job holding the sign. He was an elderly man, but he paid me $100 cash a day. Um, he, to, to like a sign for a business? No, I mean, he had a cash for junk cars business. Oh, gotcha. So I went out door to door and passed out flyers. But just recently he had a stroke. So it left me with no income at all. And I'm so afraid to have to tell my babies we might have to go back to the hotel. How many kids do you have? I have four total, but only two were with me at the time because the oldest two are with their dad. Right. Two months behind on my rent, and that's why I'm out here. That's what my sign says. Okay. And Look, I just, can I see your sign? Yeah. I told the truth, you know, I, I'm not homeless. I've, I've, I've done over 50 applications on Indeed. I went to probably like 11 interviews. I actually started a job last week, but it's for leaf filter. But it, the first three weeks are only 18 hours a week, so that's not money. You right. know what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying. enough to save the apartment, so that's why I'm out here. But I do everything for my girls. They'll be they'll be seven October 20th, and I just um, appreciate you like sharing some stories. You know, I understand some people out here do what they do, but I'm just a mom, and I just work my ass off, single mom, and I just want to provide for my daughters and give them a life I didn't have. I tell them all the time, it's a grown up business, you don't worry about it, you worry about your kid business, and that's cool and all it is. So I, I really appreciate it. Are you, a, are you a single mother? Yes. Okay. Um. So I, I got really lucky because their, their best friend, uh, name is Lyric and her mom's name's Diane and Diane will get the girls off the bus for me and right. um, keep them until I get back home and then I'll go down there and get them and then I keep Lyric on the weekends or anytime she needs so yeah. we've worked out a really good plan but um, I, I actually just had an interview today at 3. So what would help you out? Like what are the basic, like what would help you out I the most? To, uh, I need to pay my two months rent. Two months behind on rent. I, I live in Wellington Village. No vehicle. I don't have any vehicle, no. I don't so have no you got kids and they're yeah. struggling. Yeah. You get food and stuff. Yeah. I was addicted to heroin. I've never been an intravenous user. Um, always been scared of needles. It sounds silly because I have piercings and tattoos, but um, I was never an intravenous user. As soon as I found out I was pregnant, they were actually triplets. One little girl died at 17 oh weeks. Oh my God. So that's why I say twins. Um, but yeah, as soon as I went in there, I thought I was just sick. I found out I was almost four months pregnant with triplets. And that day, I, I said, you know, I have two older children. Um, what do I do? They said, go find a babysitter, come back in, we'll detox you and start you on Subutex. Right. So then that's what I did. Like a car, just a car, that way you could get back on your feet. Do you think that would help at yeah, all? Yeah, that would help tremendously because right now I have no transportation. Me and the girls take the bus. Every interview I went to, I took the bus or I had to walk. Because I, I didn't have money for an Uber. <laughs> my main thing is my two months behind on the rent in Wellington Village and transportation. But it, I, it's just all for my girls. I love my girls so much. And I just do anything for them aside from prostitution. So that's why I'm out here holding a sign. And, and any help, I would just be so grateful for. I just can't thank you enough for doing this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Like, we get judged a lot out here. I know that people, you know, struggle with addiction, and I did at yeah. one time, and I feel for them, but I feel like out here, everybody thinks that I am in addiction, which I'm not. I've called 211, I've called churches, I've called the trustee's office. I just thank you so much for doing this video, and it means the world. Absolutely.